following contest, scheduled for one fall. It's time! It's time! You don't see me crying. You don't see me down on my knees begging about it. Welcome to the Grill Out Hot Tag. Here's your host, Hollywood Jeff Petty. Boom, boom, boom. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Grill Out Hot Tag. My name is Hollywood Jeff Petty. I'm your host, and I'm joined by one of my illustrious co hosts, yeah. Josh Colt, baby. Woo. The belt expert, actually, the belt yes. collector. Our belt collector. Yes. Yes. And so. If you're new to this, this is episode two of the Grill Out Hot Tag. Dose. Dose. Um, this is a short Whoa. form this is a short form <laughs> version of the the actual show. The actual show goes out on terrestrial radio, fourteen ninety AM, five eighty AM every now and then. But this one is solely online. So wherever you get your podcast, whether that be YouTube, Spreaker, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Podcast Addict, wherever you get your podcast, that's where you can find this. And you can go listen to the first episode, the infamous Muda, Muda scale that we did uh, just a couple months ago, actually. Yeah, these are uh, deep dives into topics that we don't get to cover quite as much in the main show. Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it off to Josh since this is technically his episode. So Yeah, and speaking of championships, when we think of the greatest professional wrestling world champions, who are some people that come to mind? I mean, this is a good one. At, yeah, I mean, speaking of the man, for many people, Ric Flair is considered the greatest world champion of all time. And some even go as far as saying the greatest wrestler of all time. <laughs> there is no dispute that he is one of the all-time greats, both as a wrestler and as a world champion. What is disputed, however, is how many times he has actually been a world champion. This is the Grill at Hot Tag Episode 2 where we are going to answer the question, how many times has Flair actually been a world champion? All right. Now, for some of you listening, you may be thinking to yourself, he's a 16-time world champion. Case closed. And WWE would have you believing that. However, the reality is, he's not a former multi-time world champion, as we, professional wrestling is scripted. So the answer is zero. Case closed. We're done. We'll see you next episode. All right, everybody. We're done. <laughs> we're out. Okay. Listen to this. We're good. Yeah. So- <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> so all jokes aside, in the universe of professional wrestling, kayfabe, WWE claims that Ric Flair is a 16-time world champion. Which is something that you hear quite yeah. often, especially if you're a long-time yeah. viewer of WWE. And even outside of WWE, some promotions have even said that. Like, I think TNA has said that before. Yeah. But, uh, but he's actually held more than that. But for WWE, for whatever reason, they just say 16, and they've stuck with that. So, how many has he held? Would you like to take a guess? Mm. I've okay. So, so real quick, I've heard this this conversation before. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say twenty. It's around there. Oh, really? Okay. Dep- okay. Depending on your source. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all, right, all right. See, this is this is why we call Josh the belt expert. He yeah. he, he knows he knows what he's talking about. Anyway. I will say it, it is in fact twenty, but it's actually more. Really? It's yeah. more than 20? It's more than 20. Okay, all right. I'm all ears right yeah. now. All right, so before we get into the actual number, we're going to go what you know go over what WWE counts. Okay. So, first of all, for clarification, he is not a 16-time WWE champion. I've seen people online get confused by that and think that when WWE says he's a 16-time, 16-time world champion, they think he's saying he's a 16-time WWE champion. Some people have even gotten that confused with John Cena, who is a 16-time WWE World Champion, but his are 13 reigns with the WWE Championship, and then three reigns with the World Heavyweight Championship from the Ruthless Aggression era. Is is John Cena, and I, I'm, I'm going to look it up, but is John Cena the, has he won the WWE Championship the most out of anybody? Specifically WWE Championship, yes. Okay, all right. Um, and yes, yes he has. Okay, continue. So, now, as for Ric Flair, WWE recognizes that he's an eight-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion, a six-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion, and a two-time WWF World Heavyweight Champion, which, of course, is today's WWE Championship. And, and yes, you heard that right. He has only held the WWE Championship twice. All which, of is, his, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, all of his other world championships are from outside of WWE, and that may lend to us to why WWE only says 16, but then those waters get a bit muddy because there's a world championship that he's held twice that they do not recognize for him, but they do recognize for Rick Rude. Do you know which title I'm talking about? Is it the is it the International Championship? Yes, the WCW International World Heavyweight Championship, which some people do and don't consider a world title. We'll get into that. Yeah, and I was going to say that was where that that was where the original big gold belt was was the International Championship. No. Oh, okay. well, we're going to get into that too. All right, all yeah. right, <laughs> all right. I'm all ears. Yeah, I'm just talking. So, so for how many Ric Flair's held? Depending on the source, it's as low as 16 as WWE claims, and at most 25. Wow. Yeah. So, Ric Flair says 21 himself. And Oli Wrestling actually echoed that same number when he was working with them back in early 2024 when he was doing the Steam Retirement stuff. So, let's break down how many he's held. So, we start with the National Wrestling Alliance, where Ric Flair, you know, that's where he really made a name for himself as a decorated world champion, really elevated that title. The famous Big Gold Belt, as we just mentioned, it was actually introduced during his fourth reign and it was originally a custom belt for him, but it would become the main belt for the NWA championship. But anyways, so WWE only says he held the title eight times. But the NWA actually recognizes that he was a nine-time champion. And for whatever reason, WWE doesn't count that one. There's a title change that happened in Japan in 91. I think that's the one they're not recognizing for whatever reasons. And who who was that against? I don't remember right off. Okay, <laughs> but okay. it was in Japan. Okay, so basically they consider his seventh reign a continuation into the eighth that NWA considers separate. Okay, now, but so that's nine that NWA recognizes. It doesn't stop there. He's actually held that title thirteen times. Yeah, there's been some title changes that did happen overseas, or they were overruled. So there's four reigns that NWA just does not recognize. So officially, by NWA, he is a nine-time NWA champion, but WWE only says eight. Now, we move over to World Championship Wrestling. WWE says Flair is a a six-time world champion. Before WCW was bought out by WWE in March 2001, WCW officially recognized Flair as an eight-time champion, and actually, in WWE's official title history, it shows seven, and we'll get into that discrepancy here shortly. But like the NWA title, there was a title change that occurred that WWE does not recognize, but WCW did. Mm. It, yeah. It, it, it's, 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 yeah, it's yeah. weird. It's weird. But anyway. Now, now, as for that discrepancy of six or seven, in the official title history on WWE's website, it shows that he is a seven-time champion. But they only recognized six for this, you know, 16 times. And so what happened was that during Flair's seventh reign as NWA champion, WCW began to recognize him as the inaugural WCW champion. But it wasn't really a double champion per se. It was the same championship. It used the exact same belt, which was the big gold belt. So basically what WWE is saying here is that this is just the same reign. It's not two separate reigns. So with WCW, WWE says six, but it's really seven. But if you want to consider that inaugural reign and that NWA reign as separate, then it's eight reigns. Then there's another world championship from WCW that we mentioned earlier with Rick Rude, and that is that WCW International World Heavyweight Championship. There are some people who do not consider it a world championship just because, kind of like how some people for however many years have considered the universal title not a world championship when it is. But anyways, I was going to say, it's in the name. Yeah. Yeah, Universal. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. But Strange people. Yeah, but and, you know, maybe that's why WWE doesn't recognize the international title for Flair. But anyway, so WCW International, it was kind of like how there's the Raw and SmackDown brands in WWE. Uh, there was the main WCW roster. Then there was the WCW International roster, which also worked with New Japan Pro Wrestling. And WCW International actually became about because of Ric Flair. So he had left WCW, taking that big gold belt with him. Then he joined the WWF at the time. Then he returned to NWA and became the NWA champion again. And then he returned to WCW with that big gold belt. So WCW decided to recognize him as the inaugural WCW International World Heavyweight Champion. Does that sound kind of familiar? Yes, it does. Yeah. that's That was the big gold yeah, he had the yeah. big gold at this time. Yeah, okay. That, that's how the big gold came back to WCW. Oh, was through the international heavyweight champion. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, 
Yeah, but this is basically the same scenario of how he was claimed to be the inaugural WCW World Heavyweight Champion. And that is the second scenario that I kind of agree with WWE on. They're just considering this as an NWA reign instead of a two separate reigns, which would have been his official ninth NWA reign or 13th overall. But this is what WWE would say his eighth reign was for okay. the NWA title. Now, Flair would hold the international championship twice with his second reign coming as a result of a unification match in which he, which he was the reigning WCW champion, defeated the reigning international champion, Sting, to unify those titles. And that's how the big gold belt took over being the WCW title again. Okay. All right. So WCW, they recognize him as the final international champion, but WWE does not. Don't really quite know why. And uh, WWE is going to yeah. WWE. So WWE is a bit weird in how they handle championship unifications and who they consider the final champion to be for that title that gets retired. Uh, for example, back in December 2013 when they unified the WWE Championship and that Ruthless Aggression Era World Heavyweight Championship. So reigning WWE Champion Randy Orton defeated reigning World Heavyweight Champion John Cena. And in this case, they recognized Orton as the final World Heavyweight Champion. But when you go back to 2022 with NXT UK, you know, they had all those unification matches with the NXT and NXT UK titles, and every NXT UK champion lost in those matches. Mm -hmm. But they consider every NXT UK champion that lost as the final champion instead of the person who won. I, I don't understand what their reasoning is with how they do this. They don't, I mean... <clears throat> it's not consistent. We, we And we've talked about in previous episodes about how weird they are about counting certain things. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess unless it's well, I, even the, I was going to say unless it's under the WWE banner, but even the and what you just said with the UK title that was under the WWE banner. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Dartboard on the wall. <laughs> we're just throwing darts, <laughs> pretty much. But so back to Flair. So officially, so far we have nine NWA championships, six or seven WCW championships, depending on if you agree with WWE not recognizing that one title vacancy. And one international championship, which is also agreeing with WWE and considering the respective inaugural reigns not being separate. So that puts us at either 16 or 17. But wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> In the words of Billy Mays. Yeah. So we touched on it earlier, but he is also a two-time WWE champion. And there is no discrepancy on that. He's just a two-time WWE champion. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is kind of crazy. Yeah. And there's actually a cool fun fact regarding his first WWE Championship reign. Uh, so the first time he won it, or rather, you know, it was WWF at that time, it was for winning the 1992 Royal Rumble match. And that was the first time that there was actually a prize for winning the Rumble. Uh, so, like, that year, the title had been vacated, so the prize, they just made the prize of that match the vacant title. And wasn't that around the time when Flair... Like, he came to WWE and he brought the WCW title. The and, big gold belt. Yeah, he brought the big gold belt yeah. and said, called himself the real world's champion. Yeah, and they actually had to uh, create their own version because there were legal issues with that belt. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they, got, they got a little little bit of legalities yeah. on that one. <laughs> and, like, it was at house shows where there was a, uh, it was basically like a replica of the tag belts. Yeah, yeah. They, they even created a... A weird looking big gold belt for a little bit too. Oh wow! They eventually, I think they dropped it like very shortly before this. Oh okay. Rumble. But uh, an also fun fact, you know, it was ninety three that when that's when they started a tradition of winning. Uh, if you win the rumble, you get a world title match at WrestleMania. Okay. But so with his two WWE championship rings, that brings us to either eighteen or nineteen, which will be nine NWA, six or seven WCW, one WCW International. And to WWE. So so how do we get to 21? Like how Flair himself claims. Well, in order to do that, we have to say he's an eight-time WCW champion, as mentioned before. So counting that seventh NWA reign and the inaugural WCW reign as separate championships. And we also have to count that vacancy that WWE does not count. We also have to recognize both international championship reigns. So considering his ninth NWA reign and that inaugural reign as separate reigns. And also considering that final reign in the unification match as a reign. Okay. So that would be 9 NWA, 8 WCW, 2 WCW International, and 2 WWE to give us 21. But if you remember, as I said earlier... I was going to say, you, you said it was up to as, mo as much as 25 world titles? Yep, yep. 
So like I said earlier, he's actually a 13-time NWA champion. So that puts us at 25. Okay. So, so real quick, real quick with these NWA titles. <clears throat> are they not counting, like, who was the guy? He, I think they were in Brazil or mm-hmm. something like that. They were in some. They were somewhere in South America. And the crowd was so rabid. <laughs> like, they, like, it was, it was a hometown guy. Um, and Flair was defending the title against him. Now, mm-hmm. this is, now, this is how the story went from what I can remember is Flair was going against him. I can't remember, remember the gentleman's name, but, um, I think originally Flair was supposed to retain the title, but because the fans were getting so out of hand in there, mm-hmm. Flair called an audible in the ring and was like, Take it off of me just so he could get to the back safely. Is that like one of the, one one of the reasons why it's it's not counted? Or that, that could be it. Uh, I mean, there are some title changes. Like there was one he dropped at the Harley Race in New Zealand. They don't count it. Uh, now was it actually in New Zealand or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was okay. a house show. This is okay. back in eighty four. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Then uh, he won the title back in Singapore, like just a few days later. Oh, okay. But yeah, they they just consider they don't recognize that title change at all. And NWA does not recognize that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's hmm. But that's, yeah, like all these are basically like outside the United States. They just basically not sanctioned or they overruled them. Okay. So that's 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 how like we get to where Flair is in his words 21 world time mm-hmm. 21 time world champion or what everybody knows him as as the 16 time world yeah. champion. Yeah. So 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 at the very least going by what he actually held, he's at least 18 or 19, and that's going by how WWE handles those two WCW reigns that overlap with those NWA reigns mm-hmm. and also uh the one vacancy. So that's 9 NWA, 6 WCW, 1 WCW International and 2 WWE. Well, what do you think? What should he be recognized as? <laughs> I don't I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. It 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 really is like sometimes it seems like sometimes I like I kind of understand why they don't want to recognize like when the big gold belt came back. Mm-hmm. Like they want to recognize that as one long reign yeah. instead of two separate reigns. Yeah. I kind of understand the reasoning there. Mm-hmm. But then there's just weird times where like we're just not going to recognize this for whatever reason. And NWA did that too. So. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and it's like, and NWA, even with like what you just said with Harley yeah. Race, yeah, it was only a three day reign. Yeah. But it was still a three day reign. Yeah. I mean, he still had to carry, because uh, Kayfabe was well and alive at that point. Yeah. And Harley had to carry the belt around. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, he, what did he do? Carry it around for nothing? Yeah. <laughs> just so Flair didn't have to deal with it in customs? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like the only two I really agree with WWE on is those two inaugural reigns. Just they're considering that one continuous reign instead of two separate reigns, and it kind of makes sense. Yeah, that yeah, that one right there does. Like I yeah. said, that that reasoning right there makes sense. To yeah, because he was the, the he was in his seventh reign as NWA champion, and then WWE just started to call him their champion as well. But it wasn't like it was two separate championships. Exactly. Like because I, I have I have right here pulled up on Wikipedia mm-hmm. um, the WWE championship. Championship. I was because I was just curious. Yeah. Uh, like I said, er, I asked you earlier about John Cena. I'm looking at this, and it it would be like like modern day. Think of Roman mm-hmm. when he had both belts. Yeah, and they combined them. Like they retired one, but they still could say that this is one big reign for him. Mm-hmm. So they actually didn't retire it. Which is, they still haven't retired it. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. It, it it still has, but they still didn't. They didn't recognize it as, like, when they combined them, they didn't recognize it as two separate reigns. They recognized it as one big reign, I guess that's I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Kind of. So they basically continue as universal, but they do actually recognize as WWE starting at the unification match. So he was technically a double champion. Okay. And Cody is technically a double champion because they still have not retired a universal title. <laughs> wow. Okay. That, <laughs> yeah, that's I didn't... weird. That okay, that that right there is kind of weird. Well, I mean, it should have been retired when Roman lost, but for whatever reason, they've kept it. Yeah, like right here. I mean, I, in a way, I kind of get it. Ooh, woo, the <laughs> undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Yeah. Well, right here, I mean, then again, this is on Wikipedia. I put uh, it there. <laughs> I, I literally did. Oh, this what what yeah, I'm about to read right here. Probably okay. Um, yeah, because it says the undisputed WWE Championship 
in parentheses, formerly known as the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Yeah, they they truncated to they dropped the Universal when Cody won. Okay, but it's still both, uh, and they recognize it as both. Yeah, like if you go on WWE's website right now, you'll see two title histories: Universal WWE. Both of them are still ongoing, with oh. Cody listed as both. So, but so the, would that technically like whoever wins the belt, including Cody? Would that make them automatically a two-time champion, two-time world champion? By a technicality. Wow. They might not necessarily look at it that way, but by a technicality, he's, yeah. So technically right now, Cody is a two-time world champion. Yeah. Wow. I never <laughs> even looked at it, it that way. It's weird. Yeah. Like, that... It made sense for Roman up until he lost, but they should have retired Universal right then and there, and they didn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it says, it. yeah, you're you're right. It says right here. It's uh, it, at first in 2016 uh, to present actually the WWE Universal Championship. Mm-hmm. Then from 2022 to 2024 the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Ooh, woo. Um, <laughs> and then from 2024 to now the undisputed WWE Championship. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess in a way it'd be a ma- it'd only be a matter of time before it's before they don't they drop it. At least you would think. Yeah. I figure when they finally stop saying undisputed, that's probably when they'll drop that. Okay. And just be WWE title. And, and who knows when they will yeah. officially. And may, maybe at WrestleMania 41. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, it, some sometimes I, I, I agree with, like, I like Triple H on a lot of his decisions. But sometimes when you think he's going to zig, he zags. So there, there's one I am still confused on. What, what uh, is that? The, the WWE Women's Championship belt. It says undisputed on it. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they did that. I, I like I understand the color scheme to match the men's, but why did you put undisputed on there? There's there was nothing undisputed about it. May uh, I see no you that's I mean that's a that's a solid solid answer there. Um I I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really truly do not know yeah. um why that yeah, I, but to kind of bring this back to Flair, and speaking of Triple H, you know, with him being over WWE creative, will he go back and retroactively say Flair is more than sixteen time? I don't know. He has, I mean, he he has the authority to say that. Yeah, now. I kind of feel like they won't because of John Cena. Yeah. So, um, because then, because right now John Cena is tied with Flair. Yeah, the, that is the, the WWE story. record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that yeah the the. The WWE record is um, the the WWE record is yeah like it it, it storyline wise that makes sense mm-hmm. and and Cena's not winning any more world titles as far as we know uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah as far as we know I don't see do you do do you think that he he will break the record within the next year and and if so I'll get, I'll throw you another curveball if so mm-hmm. who's he take it off of Gunther or Cody. Ooh. And right now, Cody is a two has held the belt for two hundred and sixteen days. Yeah, that's that's a hard. A part of me, I mean, it'd be cool to see it, but a part of me would almost rather him win an Intercontinental title because he's he's never won that title. Just so he can be a, a Grand Slam champion, right? And Triple Crown. Okay, yeah, because he he's a Triple Crown champion. He's not a Triple Crown. He's not. No. What? They, they right now they do not recognize the United States as part of the Triple Crown. Really? Yeah. I had no idea yeah. about that. So. It, w- Unless they've changed something, and I'm not aware of it, and they haven't, because uh, other people would be recognized, but they're not. He, he, so you need WWE title, the Intercontinental title, and tag team title. So he's consi- so John Cena is considered a Grand Slam champion, right? Nope. He's not. No, because he needs the Intercontinental. Oh my gosh, he's missing so, that one Intercontinental to be both a Triple Crown and a Grand Slam. Oh wow! Yeah, you heard it here first, <laughs> folks. <laughs> I did not see. I, yeah. I didn't know. So I, that, didn't I, know. I, I, I would kind of rather see him win the Intercontinental title to get that accolade. That's the one accolade he really does not have. Yeah. So I mean, or, yeah. or rather three accolades, but yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 like it's package deal, three and yeah. one. So but, but I was gonna say the reason we know they don't count the United States is because if they did, Braun Strowman would be a uh, Triple Crown. He's not. True. True. See, he's held the Universal title. He's held the. Uh, United States and sell a tag title, which also means they don't count the Universal as well for the Triple Crown. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. See, I don't know. That's strange. Like, it feels like to me with the Triple Crown, you need to have a world title, mid-card, and a tag title. I think during the first brand split, 
that was the case, and uh, minus the uh, U.S. title, I think they counted both world titles, just not the U.S. title. Hmm. But yeah, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. That's uh, that, that, that's one strange. thing that's not disputed though is John Cena is one hundred percent sixteen time in WWE. Yeah, like he's not. <laughs> There's there's no no, no discrepancies. Yeah at all. yeah yeah none. There's none of those. We won't be doing a hot tag on John Cena 16 times. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, we I, may. He might have won the OVW heavyweight. That's not considered a world title. So. No no. Like, I think Flair has won like a heavyweight title here, and they, those weren't world titles. Yeah. They were just like the top title of that specific little territory. Well, and that's and that's just like with the uh, with the IWGP heavyweight title. Mm-hmm. I remember you telling me like that's not recognized as yeah. a world title. Yeah, which is cr- which I never thought of it like that, and that's crazy in my mind. And now yeah. they're considered a world title because yeah. it's been it's been combined with the Intercontinental mm-hmm. title. I mean it. Fans could definitely view it as a world that the, the previous heavyweight could definitely be viewed as a world title. It just never, as far as I'm aware, never actually officially had that recognition as being a world championship. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Sort of, kind of. Yeah, but I mean, right now it's definitely. Yeah, it's it, also not the same title technically. No, no, it's <laughs> it's it's not. They uh, they combined, and I think it's also it has absorbed the U.S. heavyweight title now. So mm. yeah, it is. It, it, well, I think the heavyweight they had. Uh, they had the U.S. and U.K. title because uh, oh, we lost the thing. Now that's the global. Yeah, that's true. That that it, it, <laughs> so they have a world title and a global title. What's the difference? <laughs> I mean, you could say <laughs> the same thing with like intercontinental. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, continental would be like the continental U.S. Yeah, intercontinental. You're getting into like international. Yeah, like, that's kind of what the what what is the actual? Hold on, I'm looking up what the actual definition of intercontinental is. So you can go ahead and keep, yeah. Uh, I don't need champion. I need definition. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Flair, he's a, uh, I would say he's at the least an 18-time world champion. Okay. At least. Um, and right here, as far as a, a definition for intercontinental, um, related relating to or traveling between continents. So yeah. technically, by word choice, <laughs> Would be a world title. Yeah. So I wrestling's weird at times. It really is. Yeah. But I, I kind of hate it. This is going to be a little off topic. I kind of hate it when some indie promotions call their title a world title. Like you're based in one area, one city. You don't really go everywhere else. True. It should not be world title. Heavyweight title's fine, or even just your promotion name. But don't call your title world title. But it's not being defended elsewhere true or more true. than one area true i mean i guess unless you that do have a couple in west virginia do that um yeah <laughs> yeah and there's um does gcw consider their title a world title i'm not 100 percent sure on that okay uh, hold on quick google um you can keep talking yeah yeah but they they do yeah there is there's is a world championship in my opinion it you should only be able to call your title a world title if you've defended it Outside of the United States and actually in other countries. Maybe not necessarily every single country, but like if your promotion has talent from all over the world, mm-hmm. then I would say that'd be okay. You, okay. It, interesting thing, real quick about the GCW title. It was combined, actually, with the JCW Championship, Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Hey. Yeah. So it was a. Uh, because right here it says title history, JCW Championship from 2000 to 2004 and 2013 to 2015, and then the GCW World Championship from 2015 to now. Hmm. So there you go. There you go. So the, so the JLO became it, or they had a unification? The, a unification. That's what it looks like. Because now it is... it is Was, there, not, was the GCW ex, exist before that? The GCW World title? Yeah. Um... Or was it something else before that? Uh, I don't know. I, it says right here other names JCW Championship. So, hmm. um, yeah, I don't. That, yeah, that's that's low key is a former champion. That's huh. crazy. Anyway, that's getting off topic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so, in your opinion, Flair is an eighteen-time world champion. Eighteen and nineteen, at least. Okay. Okay. Not so much what Flair is saying with the twenty-one. I don't necessarily disagree with it. With twenty one, but I, I, I kind of get what WWE is saying about those couple of NWA overlapping reigns. Yeah. So, but he's considering them separate. So. Okay. Well, 
There you go. See, but he he is one hundred percent more than a sixteen time world champion. All right. All right. <laughs> well, see, like this is why we do the grill out hot tag. You learn things on this on the on this you know special edition of the grill out um, that you wouldn't really learn on the original version. The yeah. the, the 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 main show. I'll say that the main show. Um, this this is kind of like NXT, and the main show is the main roster. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's the, be- <laughs> that's the that's the best way I can put that. So I was looking at the GCW. It was Jersey Championship, then it became the GCW. Oh, okay. So okay, All right. game changer wrestling. Okay, uh, you know what? That makes that makes a lot of sense because, um, I think Game Changer Wrestling is based out of Jersey. So it is. Yeah, they're based out of Jersey. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Anywho, so what are your thoughts? How many should a uh, Ric Flair be cleared for? Yeah, Claimed go for. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what, how many times do you think Ric Flair is a world champion? Email us, thegrillout95 yeah. at gmail.com. Or you can let us know on Facebook. Go like the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash thegrillout. Yeah. So, that all you got on that? Woo! Yeah. All right. Woo! Crispy. Well, Woo! Tanga. Southwall Regional Wrestling is awesome. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Grill Out Hot Tang. Episode 2. Yep. In the books. Exactly. Yeah. And until next time, fellow wrestling fans, have a good one.